and welcome to another edition of the Public Health Pharmacist IGTV slash YouTube extravaganza. And today I am with the amazing and beautiful Dr. Eileen. Hi guys. So wonderful to share presence with you, social distancing. Yes, we are very socially distanced <laughs> apart. So I'm drinking this fabulous tea, which by the way, what's in this amazing tea that she welcomed me with when I came to her home? Well, it depends on the day. What I have in here is actually ashwagandha tea with green tea dandelion. So ashwagandha is a root chakra tea. It's very energizing. It's considered vigorous, so it helps your mind with clarity and thought, especially when you're about to take on the day. A green tea just so is so anti-inflammatory and way. it's very energizing, has just a little bit of caffeine to help you get through your day. So I love that too. And I also put a little bit of lemon peel in there for alkaline lines. And the lemon peel has the oils that can help you balance your pH of your body. And this is exactly why I wanted Dr. Eileen to be part of my health and wellness series. So we're gonna do a little healthy cooking for you. So let's get started. Awesome, all right, so I'm gonna turn the camera here so you guys can see our healthy cooking. Ooh, ooh, can you see that? Ooh, pretty good. I have beautiful pretty cabbage. Enough. And oh freshly, oh yes, look at this. <gasps> so we're gonna start Triangles. with some noodles today. Yep. Do you he know doesn't what we're love noodles. Today? We're making really like 10 minute style ramen noodle, a bowl of noodle soup that is satisfying but also healthy with lots of vegetables. So I start with noodles, about one serving size. This is very small portion of roll here. And you're just gonna put in some boiling water. While we're cooking, we're gonna get the other stuff ready and then come to the cooking bread. There's nothing better than a healthy bowl of soup. Do you like to eat noodles? Of course. Who doesn't love noodles? Especially ramen noodles. <laughs> now these are just basic Chinese noodles. They are dry noodles. You can get them at any Asian grocery store. This one's called Wumu Dry Noodles, and they come in these packets. The product of Taiwan, and I just love them because they're very reliable. They cook really well al dente. It's like the Chinese version of fettuccine. Oh, and how long does it usually take to cook? It takes about five to seven minutes in boiling water, which we'll see. Okay, so pretty fast. Ooh. And in any Chinese kitchen, you always want to have a little bit prepared. So right here, Christina, we're going to make this a vegetarian meal. I have chopped up some napa cabbage here. Yes, and absolutely. then we also have some um, portobello mushrooms that are chopped up and diced up into cube slices. So we're gonna saute that real quick and then we'll add it into your noodles. Wonderful. Yeah, so what I also love too is sort of the hearty feel that you get from a portobello mushroom, especially if you're somebody who normally does eat meat, um, you still get that same mouth feel, so you still feel very full and it's a great source of protein. And obviously, you know, when we're thinking about health and wellness, um, anything that comes from the ground and comes from Mother Nature is going to help with your overall health and wellness. And so um, I personally have really wanted to kind of strive towards having um, more plant-based meals. And so some of these alternatives to using, you know, non-animal products, mm -hmm. I think is really useful. And um, I love the fact that you always make things look so easy. Um, so, they which is why, easy. which they is really why I love following your Instagram <laughs> because you're always cooking amazing food. Thank you. <laughs> And also there's a lot of research out that shows plant-based diet can decrease your inflammatory markers. So if you're someone who has chronic condition like lupus or asthma or arthritis, you really want to consider maybe trying more of a heavily plant-based diet that's going to decrease all your markers so your symptoms will improve. And it's been shown in a lot of studies. Yes, food as medicine. I love it. Okay, so guys, we have this pan that's just warming up, and we're just going to make some yakko cabbage. I use 
use cooking spray, this happens to be coconut oil spray. Do you use those? Yes, of course. Good old Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so easy and accessible. You always start with the hard yes first, as you mentioned the mushrooms. I can already smell the goodness from all those veggies. Now, I noticed you used the coconut oil spray. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like that helps to kind of cut down on some of the saturated fats or oils, or would you potentially also use olive oil as well? Yeah, or? Absolutely. It's kind of, it's really a preference. Okay. I think coconut oil is still a lot better than, our cooking oil and olive oil is a lot better than some oils like corn oil mm -hmm. or vegetable oil. Um, I use the cooking spray because it has the least amount of calories per spray, so I'm just used to using it and I've been doing it for a while. Yeah. We also do have olive oil here, but for this recipe, just what I don't normally do, I want you to see if you like it. Do you have favorite places in town for ramen? Oh yeah, there's all kinds of really good places for ramen. Um, there's a great little place by my house. It starts with a J, and now I'm like blanking on the name. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's funny, like Jenya. Maybe it's. I think it's Jenya. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, but I was gonna say whenever you, <laughs> a little squeaky. Uh, no worries. Uh, I always feel like when you have a really good experience somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's like the details get kind of fuzzy because it's like you have such a good time. It's like you remember how you feel yes. more than like the actual like where the place was. It's kind of funny. Like if you had a bad experience, you like remember the waiter's name. Yeah. You remember where you sat. Yes. It's so funny how like our brains imprint. <laughs> you know, I know the biggest reason people like to dine out is they like the culinary experiences. Just they offer that unique experiences. And Grissy, you're in the kitchen. You're not yes. allowed to be in here. Get out, please. Come here. Come here, sweets. <laughs> Nobody saw. No, but we can edit that out. <laughs> no need to edit. You couldn't see him. He wasn't in the frame. He comes in here. But one of the best part about I, for me, eating out is getting to experience, having that service, getting to meet the people and the waiter and the staff. Sometimes getting that creation that's made fresh for you. That's why people love Chef's Table. They love oh, seeing yeah. it being done. Yeah, no, I'm a big fan. Yeah. I feel like that's why like home cooking shows have been so popular during um, our quarantine period mm -hmm. because people just have this like love of feeding. And then obviously, you know, both you and I culturally yes. like there's this love of cooking and love of feeding people so it's like when oh you gosh. when you really genuinely care about someone then you feed them so and I always feel loved when I come here because <laughs> you always to try to feed me, feed me. I end up <laughs> every time last time you made me eggs did I make you eggs you did make me eggs <laughs> So what kind of spices did you put on there? Right now, I just put yeah. a little bit of white pepper. Okay. My husband loves to cook with white pepper. Black pepper. I love mm -hmm. the peppery taste, but it's a little bit of like a cinnamony taste version of black pepper. Mm -hmm. So I just put a little bit of that in. Sometimes I also like to add a little bit of mustard in it, but today I think I'm just going to season a little salt because we have some flavor for the noodles, which I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Super excited about that. My best kept secret is a little bit of Ooh. vegetable hoisin sauce, vegetarian hoisin sauce. Nice. Cool. And this is something that I normally, even after a long day, 
and I really want something that's fresh and warm. After 10 minutes, everything is ready. Which is really wonderful, because I feel like a lot of people feel like if you want to make something from scratch or if you want to make something fresh, mm -hmm. it's super time consuming. And so I think it's really great that um, you know, these are kind of some tips and tricks that you can do mm -hmm. to still have that fresh you know, food, but without it being a whole ordeal. Um, I know you had already chopped some of the cabbage before mm -hmm. we got started, but yeah. obviously that didn't take that long. No, it didn't. You know, um, maybe an extra couple minutes That's that it. we did before mm -hmm. we actually started rolling. <laughs> I want to show you what I put for my sauce. Okay. So about just kind of a teaspoon of vegetarian poison sauce for your bowl. You're going to put a teaspoon of soy sauce. If you want to do the gluten free, you can do the coconut aminos or you can also try the, the tamari. That's also another option for just a nice bit. Of and is that the low sodium one too? That's a low sodium for Trader Joe's. And then yeah. I put a little bit of sesame oil because it just gives you a perfect nutty balance. And lastly, these are plain. I'm gonna give because you wanted some spice. I'm gonna put a little bit of spice here. That goes a long way. So you could. Is this chili paste or is this something different? That is something different. It's kind of like a chili uh, and chili oil. You can show oh. it to everybody. It's really cool. You can see all that chili red goodness in there. Mm-hmm. So, Christina, the noodles are already done. We're going to drain yes. them and pour them into the bowl, and then we should be done. Wonderful. So, that's also a really cool trick, too. So, the sauce you put right into the bowl because it's single serving, right? So, you put it right into the bowl, and then you add the noodles to the bowl, and it warms the sauce. That's brilliant. Actually, I put a little bit of hot water in the sauce. Oh, okay. So the sauce Perfect. Is already warm. And then here you can show everyone. We have the noodles here. You can see those gorgeous noodles. Oh! <laughs> Grizzly, get out. I <laughs> don't want the dog to get it. Oh my god. Yikes. It's fine. Okay, shall we go? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so the noodles is just ready and it's all sauceful. I'm gonna give you the toppings. You're gonna use a little cabbage with mixed with portobello mushrooms, and I hope you enjoy. Bon appetit! Mm, looks so yummy. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you guys a, a good picture of the top of this too before I get started. First, so you can see these beautiful noodles. There we go. Thank you, my Vanna White. <laughs> so yummy. Awesome. So there you go. So that's our fun, fast ramen noodles with a healthy twist. Napa cabbage, portobello mushrooms, Chinese noodles. In just 10 minutes, you can do it any day, even after a long work day. Try it out. Yep. So stay tuned for more fresh and healthy recipes and tips for health and wellness. And hopefully Dr. Eileen will let me come back again. And you guys can check me out on the FitMed on Instagram or Eileen Shi MD on YouTube station where I'll be put, posting more information like this. Take care. Thank and I'll you. add our links to my <laughs> description of this video. All right, till next time. Bye.